Holman Week is uh, a gathering of people who uh, are prompted by their faith in Christ to reach out to those in need of uh, housing. And uh, Holman Week seeks to build housing that's really a, um, in the gap between, say, a habitat house and other things in that genre and uh, just abject living in a cardboard box. Many outreaches seek to improve current facilities, and, uh, but Home in a Week doesn't improve a facility, it builds a whole new facility. So we're not just putting a, home, uh, a roof on an existing house that might really need to be rebuilt the following year thereafter. The focus is to uh, give a family, particularly children who are going to grow up, um, a 20 to 30 year blessing in not having to worry about basic housing. What we're trying to create here is, is to be able to uh, share the love of Christ through doing some great work and hopefully grow the number of homes we can actually provide. Many people travel to foreign countries and, and uh, that's important and that work needs to be done. But we have so much here in our own backyard that needs to be taken care of. And we're very proud of living in, in Texas and we want to do our work right here in Texas. So uh, we, one day, would, my real dream would be that we would show up and we would build a whole block of houses instead of just one. I think that Home in a Week is a fantastic project for people to become involved with on many different levels. Obviously the first level is that we're building a home for a family. It's really a, just a, truly a blessing to see that. But on a bigger uh, scale and scope, what we like to do is bring people together. So a submission for a Home in a Week is to have perhaps companies send two people who will maybe not get along so great at work and hopefully we can build things here. A father and a son, a father and a daughter, a mother and a son, a mother and a daughter that need quality time together to get out of their normal surroundings and their normal behavior and get some time to maybe look at the rest of the world and say, wow, really? Look at how well we really have it. Look at how blessed we really are. Maybe we should take a different look at our own lives. And through that, have that secondary mission grow that because I know that if we can do that they would then become true supporters of Home in a Week and help us build. I wish everybody could experience the joy of seeing the transition that happens to the family that receives the home from the first the day or two when that, uh, that knowledge that something good is going to happen but not really a vision of uh, what can or will happen and then by day three or four it's uh, kind of a shock in the headlights sort of feel for the family that uh, just continues to pour out and spread and have ripple effects. That's, that's one of the things I think is the source of blessing for those who serve and for those who receive and serve back in their receiving.